Hi, this review is for the HD Vehicle Black Box DVR. Okay, so let me show you everything that comes in the box. You're going to be getting your car AC adapter, you're going to be getting your mount suction cup, and you're going to be getting your um, mini SUV, and of course the camera. Let me show you what it looks like. That's your camera, and that's the back. And this has a um, place for you to put your um, card, SD card, which would take a capacity of 32 gigabytes. And it gives you JPJ pictures and it gives you AVI video. It also has night vision. And oh, the night vision is HD. And you can also quick lock your videos because if you're driving and all of a sudden something happens that you want to save, you hit a button and you have locked that file and it won't erase it when you're in a loop because that loop will be erasing the uh, oldest video so you don't want to tape over that. And it also has a parking monitor so that if there's movement or something, it will start to tape. This is for car vlogging, for security, or for just any kind of scenic recording. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to be removing that tab. Here we go. All right, I had trouble removing the tab. Here we are. Wow, nice and slick. And now I'm going to show you how I set up the camera. What I'm doing is I'm connecting it to my um, electricity adapter so that I can turn it on and that should help us go through the setup. Yay! I hope that you can see that. I'm going to try to move this camera so that you can see the setup. Hopefully you can. So the first thing you're going to get is that this camera is already recording. As soon as it's turned on, it does start to record. When you press the OK button, you turn it off. So when you turn on that ignition in your car, you're going to be in recording mode and you're going to be recording. So if you want to turn it off, you hit the OK button and you're off. All right, so let me tell you something about this equipment, which is really pretty good. It does work. I really do like it. But one thing that I found that I did not like, the instructions. The instructions are in English and Chinese. However, their English version of instructions is very much lacking. In, let me give you an example. The machine before the lens by bracket can rotate 360 degrees before and after in order to better, better cooperate with the vehicle traveling data recorder fixed position and achieve good effects. They're really poorly written and it's hard to understand all of the wonderful features that this product has. So this is a product that you're actually going to have to learn by hitting those buttons and see what the buttons do. I don't like that. I don't understand why they can't just get one good set of instructions and keep using it. It is a one-time investment and it will make people so much happier if they know how to use their product and they'll be happy with the product because many times something that does not turn out right is really because the instructions didn't tell you how to do it, you don't know how to do it, and you blame the product when in reality it's a instruction issue that you don't know how to get through that feature. So I really believe that they need to rewrite these instructions, pay a translator, you only pay once, get it down right, and have the people who are using your wonderful product know how to use it to full capacity. So that's my only issue with this. As you can see, the instructions are poorly written. But I am going to go ahead and set it up in my car and take you for a ride. All right, so I am going to take it for a short little ride. And um, it is very probably be putting the AC on and that well, the AC is on already, but it might distort the sound a little bit, but I am not going to sweat to death in this car. Oh my gosh, I am never going to be able to turn left here, so I am changing my route. Yeah, that's Miami driving for you. 
right, so I'm gonna give you a brief little tour of uh, Little Havana. Okay, so this is Miami here. You're gonna see a guy that is on skates passing out business cards. Hopefully I'll be able to get him on video. There he is. <laughs> Welcome to Miami. Okay, so I'm really interested in finding out how the audio works. I, uh, I'm very much looking forward to that because I know a lot of people like to vlog in their car. I don't because I think it's distracting. I'm at a red light and that's the only time I would go ahead and uh, talk to a camera. So I just wanted to see what the quality was. I am about to head home and we'll see how this works. All right, so um, I received this product free in exchange for an honest review. And I'll tell you, I like that it has a real long cord so that you can um, easily install it in your car and have access. You can even put it on the side window, the camera, or you can put it on the back window. Because of the long cord, that allows you to accommodate your camera wherever you like. This is long enough, so that's not a problem. The camera suction is a strong suction, and if you just heard, it turned on. The reason it's turning on like that is because it's set to the motion sensitivity mode, so it will turn on when it feels any kind of motion. The um, visibility um, is nice. I like the quality as well, but I have a hard time with this, the instructions. The instructions are just too hard to understand because they're very poorly translated from Chinese to English. So this is a big downfall for people like me who really are not that technical but love their gadgets. But everything else makes me happy. I think it's a cool new gadget and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So I hope that you like my review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know below. Thank you. Bye-bye.